to sit in a way that is comfortable for you to sit. Align the back of your skull with sacrum. Activate your feet, spread toes, so spread the balls of your feet and let your arms rest onto your thighs. Give yourself a moment now to see how your body feels. And making a commitment, a commitment to yourself of honoring your body. Being very mindful of what goes on for you and how you're feeling in the pose. And learning to stay with what you feel. Not to allow that to engulf you, but trying to get a deep appreciation of what is going on for you. And then try not to stay in that moment where, you know, you feel that sort of the, the, the negativity that's associated with different parts of you. So choose an area, choose one area in your body to focus your practice today. And breathe into that area. And exhale. With Ujjayi, inhale for seven. Hold the breath, hold for seven. Exhale for seven. At the end of the exhale, pull your belly in. Belly's pulling in, pull it in, pull it up. Holding for six. Then relax your belly and breathe. Inhale seven. Hold breath, hold for seven. Exhale, seven. At the end of the exhale, pull your belly all the way in. Feel your belly is lengthening away from pelvic bowl. You feel your lower ribs lengthening away from waist. Your diaphragm is lifting, so is sternum. Relax your belly, last one in this. Breathe in for seven. Hold for seven. Exhale seven. Now pull belly in. Pull your belly all the way in and sit bones presses down, spine is lengthening, sternum is lifting. And release. Bring the soles of your feet together for Balakanasana. Flex your toes back towards your shins, heels about 12 inches away from your pelvic bone. And then bring your hands back behind you for chest opener. You're pushing the floor away so it's sternally lifting up. Be active. Pranayama is Kapalabhati breathing. We're aiming for 90 pumps today. Be active. So take a partial breath, inhale. And sharp exhale through the nose, moving belly.
And then from here, just breathe in. Inhale for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold the breath, hold for 10. Bring your hand clearly. Exhale from mouth. Exhale. Tuck the chin to chest. Pull your belly in. Pull it in. Pull it up. Spreading ribs. Spread diaphragm. Keep feeling you're hollowing your belly out. Release, push the floor away, breathe in. As you come all the way on back up, hands by hips or slightly behind you, chest opening. Inhale for 10. Hold for 10. Keep, keep lifting sternum up, keep pressing sit bones down and then feel this opening into heart, into lower back as you hold. Hands forward and exhale. <sighs> exhale till empty. Chin tucks in. Pull your belly in. Feel as if you're flaring your ribs out towards the side. You're leading with your sternum as you're folding forward. Your sit bones presses down and use this press back to traction. Ribs away from waist. But your shoulders are soft and your neck is relaxed. Now breathe, deep breath. And as you breathe out, allow your body to fold forward. If you're at your limit, then stay. But if you can go further, then you work with your breath, deep breath. And then exhale as you fold, belly's in. Stay in the pose and feel what the pose offers you today. Breathe to where you're feeling this most. And exhale. Ease into the pose. And then stay with the pose. One more breath there. Deep breath. And exhale as you fold. Inhale, release, push floor away, breathe in as you come all the way on back up. Your next pose today is half lotus with your uh, left foot on top of your right thigh, heels by, by your hip. So it's, uh, it's bringing your heel, your left heel as close towards the hip if you can. You can bring your right left hand around and grab hold of the ankle. But today you'll be doing a forward bend. If you can't make the grab, make the hold of the ankle, you can also put a strap onto that uh, foot. Today your hand is coming around the back. That is your left hand is around the back to grab hold of your left foot or the hand is slid into the waistband. Your right arm is coming around as you would for when you're doing a spinal twist. But before we do a spinal twist today, you want us to do a forward bend to open up the lower back a little bit more. So from here, as you, as you press into your sit bone, breathe in, lifting belly, lift diaphragm, lift chest. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward, belly's in. Sit bones presses back to floor and then breathe in. Feel as if you're lifting belly away from your left heel. And as you exhale, you're folding forward. One more breath like this. Deep breath. And exhale. Allow your body just to go to where it can today. Then inhale, release, come on up. Come in from here into a spinal twist. Your back may have opened up a little bit more. Your right hand is across 
your left thigh. Sit bones presses down, feet active, and then breathe to the length and spine. And as you breathe out, you're twisting towards the left. Now keep your chin aligned with your chest so you're not stretching through the neck in this pose. As you breathe, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, you're twisting towards the left. So breathe to heart, feel for energizing your heart with this breath. And as you breathe out, keep the length through the spine as you twist the left. Now inhale, release. Shoelace, twisting shoelace. So bring your uh, right foot forward slightly and then your left foot is on your right thigh just above the knee and reaching heels away from each other. Reaching the heels away from you, toes and flex the shin. Bring your right hand by your right hip and then reach the hand about 12, 15 inches away from that hip. Press into left sit bone. Breathe in length and out of left side. And as you breathe out, bring your left arm down towards the floor. Your left foot is pressing into the arm. Tricep, bicep, or forearm. Try not to have the foot pressing into elbow. And as you breathe, your left hand ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, you're folding, chest is moving towards your left foot. Now breathe in and lift the sternum. And as you exhale, you're folding towards that left foot. Deep breath, inhale, spread, spread your ribs out wide. And then as you exhale, as you fold towards your left foot, send your left sit bone back to floor. Then inhale, release, then ease on up from here. Coming into a forward bend, so you're forward bending over your left shin. Hip bones pressing down, breathe in, lift belly, lift down from the chest. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward. So breathe to your spot. And exhale as you fold. One more breath. You're lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And exhale as you fold, pull belly in. Inhale, release, and ease on up and unwind your legs. And change for the other side. Half lotus with your right foot on top of your left thigh. If you're using the strap, your strap will be around your uh, right foot or ankle, and the strap is by your left, by your right hip. Your left hand. <laughs> Your right hand is coming around, so the strap is actually by your left hip, and your right hand is coming around, taking hold of the strap if you're using the strap, or taking hold of your foot with right hand. And you bring your left arm across your right thigh. You breathe in, lifting belly, diaphragm, lift chest. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward. Deep breath, inhale. Keep lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, allow your body to melt forward. Now give yourself time to notice what you feel and where you're feeling this. And breathe. As you breathe, you're lengthening belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, you fold. And inhale, release as you come on back up. Your left hand is across your right thigh, twisting, shoot, twisting uh, lotus, spinal twist. Breathe in, length and spine. And as you exhale, you're twisting towards the right. And notice when your body begins to open up, so make the adjustments and if you're, if, try not to be forcing yourself into pose. Deep breath, lengthen your right ribs away from right hip. And as you exhale, as you're twisting towards your 
uh, right thigh, soften the shoulders. Breathe in, lift belly, lift diaphragm, lift chest. And exhale as you're twisting towards the right. Then inhale, release. Half lotus with your right foot over your left thigh just above the knee. You're easing your left foot out if you can so that the left foot is under the knee. Try to move it away from your uh, right sit bones. I'm twisting shoelace towards your right foot. So your right hand, left hand is by hip, then reach the hand about 12 inches away from that hip. Press into right sit bone, breathe in, you're reaching, your right arm is up. And as you breathe out, bring the hand to the floor and your right foot is pressing against your forearm or tricep. Press your right sit bone back to floor and breathe to lengthen out of right side. Exhale, folding towards your right foot. As you breathe, feel for moving belly away from top of right thigh. And exhale as you fold. Breathe to sternum, deep breath, filling your heart up with breath. And exhale as you fold towards your foot, send your right sit bone back to floor. Then inhale, release, coming into a forward bend in shoelace. So the hands are by hips, feet are active. Breathe in, lengthen spine. And exhale, you're folding forward, chest is folding over your right shin. As you breathe, lifting belly away from pelvis. And exhale, fold. Feet are active. Now track what's going on for you. Breathing in, sit bones presses down, you're lengthening ribs away from waist. And exhale, fold. Inhale, release, push floor away, breathe in as you come all the way on back up. Unwind your legs. Coming into your abdominal sequence uh, now. So lie down on, on your back. We start with elbow to knee. Lie down onto your back, clasp your hands behind your head and neck. If your back is tweaky, keep the soles of your feet onto the floor and then move for the, through the stages as your back allows. Otherwise, lift your feet up off the floor, the knees are bent. Knees aligned with hips, heels are just below the knees and toes are flexed to shins. As you press your lower back to the floor, feel as if you're lengthening sit bones away from you. And then inhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, hold the breath. Exhale, curl the elbow up, reach your elbows to your left knee and reach your right leg forward. Spread the toes, relax your right hip, send your right thigh bone forward away from waist, pull lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl the elbow up, your elbows are to your right knee, straighten your left leg. Now relax your left hip. And then glide, send your right left thigh bone forward away from waist. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back down. Exhale, curl the elbow up. Reach your elbows to your left knee. You're reaching your right leg forward. Now relax your right hip. Send your thigh bone forward. Spread the toes. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and press the top rib of the sacrum to floor. Exhale, curl the tailbone up, elbows to right knee, send your left leg forward, spread the toes, reach the leg forward away from waist, pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl the elbow up, reach both elbows to your left knee. Now reach your right leg forward. Squeeze your right sit bone to tailbone as you send your right leg forward. 
full fatty in. Inhale, go back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to right knee. You're reaching your left leg forward. Now squeeze your left sit bone to tailbone. Send your left leg forward. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Reach your elbows to your left knee. Now reach your right leg straight up. Reach out with the ball of your foot. Keep feeling for unlocking that right hip as you stretch your leg to the sky. Pull belly in. Press your lower back down to the floor. Keep your legs where they are and then breathe into your right hip. Pause the breath. And as you exhale, lower your right leg away from you. Keep sending the thigh away from that hip, all the way down to about one to two inches away from floor. Now pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to right knee. Reach your left leg straight up towards the sky. Reach out with the ball of your foot. Now pull lower belly down to floor. Breathe into left hip. Pause the breath. And as you exhale, you're lengthening your left leg away. Feel for unlocking the hip as you send that leg away from you. Now pull your belly in. Feel as if your ribs are compressing down onto the belly. Inhale. Head to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows are to your left knee. Reach your right leg straight up towards the sky. Spread the toes. Reach out with the ball of your right foot. Pull the lower belly in. Inhale into right hip. Pause the breath. And as you exhale, you're lengthening your right leg away from you. Keep moving the thigh bone away from hip joint. As you lengthen the leg away, heel touches the floor. Now pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to your right knee. Reach your left leg straight up towards the sky. Pull belly in at the end of the exhale. Breathe into left hip. Pause the breath. Now exhale, lengthening your left leg away from you as you lower the heel towards the floor. Now pull belly in and press your lower back down. Inhale, head to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. And exhale, release. Lower head, shoulders to the floor, and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. Grab hold of your roll for twisting abs. Place the roll between your thighs and reach your legs up towards the ceiling. You'll reach out with the balls of your feet. If your back is tweaky, you can do this with the knees bent. You can move to the wall so that the heels are uh, up against the wall. You could also do this with the soles of your feet onto the floor. Okay. Lower back presses down. Take a deep breath and lift head, shoulder blades up away from the floor. Hold the breath. Now squeeze the roll and reach your legs straight up. Exhale, elbows to left knee. Squeeze the roll and send your legs up towards the ceiling. Pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath and press the top rim of the sacrum down. Squeeze, roll. Send your legs straight up. And exhale, elbows to your right knee. Squeeze the roll again. As you lengthen your legs up towards the sky, pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath and press the top rim of the sacrum down. Now squeeze the roll 
and reach your legs up. Reach out with active feet. As you exhale, your elbows are to your left knee. Squeeze, roll. Bending your legs up towards the ceiling. Pull the lower belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath and press the top rib of the sacrum down. Now squeeze the roll and reach your legs up. Exhale, elbows to your right knee. Squeeze the roll again. Bending your legs up to the sky. Pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath. Press your lower back down, but keep head and shoulder blades up, shoulder blades away from floor. Squeeze roll. Stretch your legs up. And as you exhale, lift your head, lift your chest. This time, reach your elbows straight up. Squeeze the roll again. Squeeze sit bone to tailbone. Now send your legs up as you reach your elbows up towards the sky. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, lower your head, lower the shoulders to the floor. Take an exhale, keep your feet where they are, keep the feet up. Press your lower back down and inhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from floor. Hold the breath. Squeeze the roll and reach your legs up. As you exhale, elbows are to left knee. Squeeze the roll again. Squeeze, sit bones to tailbone. Now lengthen your legs up. This time, reach out with your heels, flex the toes to shins and pull belly in. Inhale. Head to center. Hold the breath and press the top rim of the sacrum down to the floor. Now squeeze the roll and reach your legs up. Reach out with heels. As you exhale, elbows to right knee. Squeeze, roll. Squeeze, sit bone to tailbone. Now send your legs up, reaching out with the heels, toes and flex the shins. Pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath and press your lower back down. Now squeeze the roll, stretch your legs up, and then lift your head and chest, reach your elbows up to the sky. Squeeze roll, squeeze sit bones. Now keep the chest lifted, reach your elbows up as if you're unlocking the armpits and shoulders. Pull the belly in. Belly's in. Your lower back is pressing to the floor. Inhale, lower head, lower shoulders to the floor. And exhale, bend the knees and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. Keep the roll uh, between your thighs for your next pose, which is bridge with the roll. Rolls between your thighs. You're reaching down with fingertips, brushing heels with fingertips. Line up heels with sit bones or heels hip distance apart. And then let your arms relax by your side and let the shoulders be relaxed away from your hips. Press your lower back to floor. Breathe in, glide your ribs away from waist, moving chest to chin. Press your feet to floor and exhale, tilt pelvis, lifting pelvis up away from the floor. As you breathe in, Keep lengthening low ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, lift up, push the floor away, lengthen ankles away from heels as you lift. Now press down with the ball of your foot, lift the toes, spread the toes so there's no gripping with your feet. Now breathe in. As you breathe, lengthen belly away from pelvis, lifting diaphragm, and move your chest to chin. And exhale, lift up, press your heels to the floor as you lift. Feel your ankles lengthens up and you move the energy into calves, into thighs, into hamstrings, opening up into the lower back. Relax your throat, relax your neck. And then breathe, breathe into your side ribs so your heart is fed with this breath. And as you exhale, Gently push the floor away, so don't force this. Lift up. Now feel as if your pubic bone is reaching up towards the ceiling. Gently on the breath, you're gliding your ribs away from waist. 
and exhale, allowing your body to open up, push, push the floor away as you lift, send thighs and knees away from you. Now breathe into your spot. And exhale, tilt pelvis, lower upper back to floor. Tilt pelvis, lower mid back to floor. Tilt pelvis as you lower all the way down to the floor. Keep the tilt. Gate opener is your next pose. So you have the roll or a block between your thighs and your legs are reaching straight up towards the ceiling. Hands are clasped behind your head and neck. From here, press your lower back to floor and then take a deep breath into lower back, spreading ribs to floor. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll and reach your legs straight up. Exhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from floor. Squeeze the roll. Squeeze sit bone to tailbone. Pull belly in. Inhale, face your left hand onto the roll and straddle your legs. And as you breathe out, curl your mid bone up to the roll as you press your hands down. You're lengthening your legs out towards the side. Reach out with active feet. Pull belly in and reach your right elbow up. Side ribs are opening. Inhale, legs together, hands behind your head. Lower head and shoulders to floor. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll. And reach your legs straight up with active feet. And as you exhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from floor. Squeeze, roll. Squeeze, sit bone to turbo. Pull, lower belly in. Inhale, bring your right hand onto the roll and straddle your legs. Reach out, active feet. And as you exhale, curl pubic bone up onto the roll as you press your hands down to the roll. Lengthen your legs out towards the side. Reach your left elbow up to ceiling. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, legs together. Hands behind your head. Lower head and shoulders to floor. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll, and reach your legs up. This time, reach out with your heels. And as you exhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from floor. Squeeze, roll. Squeeze, sit bone to tailbone. Now stand, lengthen your legs up as you reach your elbows up. Pull, belly in. Inhale, place your left hand onto the roll and straddle your legs. Now you're reaching out with your heels. And as you exhale, as you curl pubic bone up to the roll, you're pressing your hand down onto the roll. Lengthen your legs out towards the side. Reach your right elbow up towards the sky. Pull belly in. Inhale, legs together. Hands behind your head. Lower head and shoulders to floor. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll. Reach your legs up. Exhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from floor. Squeeze, roll. Squeeze, sit bone to tailbone. Reach your heels up as you send your elbows up. Pull belly in. Inhale, place your right hands onto the roll and straddle your legs. You reach out with your heels. And as you exhale, as you curl pubic bone up to the roll, you press your hands down to the roll. Send your legs out, reach out with your heels, toes flex. Reach your left elbow up. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, legs together, hands behind your head, and exhale, release. Lower head and shoulders to floor, bend the knees, and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. Roll to your right side. Keep the neck relaxed. Left hand is onto the floor by chest, breathe in. And as you breathe out, push the floor away as you come up. Your right hand will support your head and neck as you come up. Come on to your uh, knees for turbo, turbo dog. So in your turbo, turbo dog, you're bringing your hands forward as you would for, for downward facing dog. Your hands are slightly wider uh, on the mat. Your fingers are spreading. 
and then your elbows, you reach your elbows to the floor. They don't touch. They're about one, maybe three inches away from the floor. You're broadening the upper back with your breath, and then you're wrapping the shoulders, squeeze the elbows in, breathe in, and as you exhale, push the floor away and reach back. Chest is moving back to thighs and knees. And then as you breathe in, broaden the upper back with your breath. And if you want an exaggeration of this, feel as if you're reaching your elbows out towards the side and then immediately wrap the shoulders, squeezing your elbows in towards each other. Feel as if you're squeezing the ribs and lengthening right down to the lower back. Relax your throat. Breathe to sternum, deep breath. And exhale, send your sit bones back. Squeeze your elbows in. Continue to feel as if you're pushing floor away. As you breathe in, broaden the upper back with breath. And exhale, squeeze your elbows in. Feel as if your arm bones are reaching down. The humerus bones are as if they're reaching to the floor and wrapping the shoulders. Squeeze your elbows in. Relax your throat, relax your neck. And then breathe into heart. Now relax your collarbones and then exhale, send. Send your sit bones back. Bend your knees if this is really tough into shoulders. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale, lengthen back, heels to floor. You're moving chest to thighs and knees. Squeeze, squeeze your elbows in as if you're closing your armpits down. Inhale, release, bend the knees and come all the way down to the floor. Your next pose is dolphin. And today you have the option of doing dolphin, but well, everyone do dolphin, and then the the options comes from that. You have you stay in dolphin for about four breaths. Then from dolphin, the option of doing dolphin with one leg up, four breaths on each side, or up to four breaths on the each side. So the third option is to do dolphin flash prep. You're doing dolphin flash prep. That's a pose in which you're just a pose in which you're if I'm my left hand is reaching forward, my right hand is, is back, my, my right hand is by my my knee, elbow and elbow and wrist are aligned. So this is your pose here for, for flash prep. Your neck shoulders relax, you breathe into back, lift spread back, toes on the as you exhale, you're lifting up and then reaching back. Chest is moving to thighs and knees. Your elbow wants to veer out, tuck it in. So this is your pose. You stay here for three breaths. And if you're going further, you're reaching your left leg out and up. If you're close enough to the wall, you can put the foot onto the wall. Stay here for up to three breaths if you can. The foot comes down, so does your knees, and then you change for the other side. Okay. So set up for dolphin. Your hands are onto your biceps. Your elbows are to the floor. Reach your hands forward. You can at this point choose to clasp your hands or not. Check your elbows. Your elbows are uh, as wide as the shoulders or narrower than the shoulders, not, not wider than the shoulders. From here, breathe into upper back, lift, spread upper back, curl toes under. Exhale, lift knees off the floor and then push the floor away. Send your sit bones up and back. Breathe to sternum, filling your heart with this breath. And exhale, lengthen back. Feel for taking the weight away from shoulders. As you breathe, feel as if you're breathing into your armpits. And as you exhale, open up your armpits back. Put away. As you breathe, lengthen the lower ribs away from sacrum. As you exhale, as you reach back, reach your sit bones back, inner ankles as if they're squeezing towards each other. 
If you're working with one leg up, then anchor, press your right foot to the floor, breathe in, lift your left foot up and reach it back. If you're working with flash prep, come down onto your knees, bring your right hand back towards your right knee and the elbow is bent. And then everyone breathe in. And as you exhale, reach back. If you're in flash breath, you take a breath, deep breath. As you exhale and reach back, send your sit bones back, keep tucking your right elbow in. You want to go further in flash breath, press your right foot to the floor, breathe in, lift your left foot up, and exhale, reach it back. Everyone breathe in, press your left, right foot to the floor, and breathe into left hip. And exhale, you send in that left leg back. One more like this, deep breath. And as you breathe out, reach your left leg back and away from you. Inhale, release, place your left foot to the floor. If you're not in flash breath, anchor into your left foot, breathe in, lift your right leg up and exhale, reach it back. If you're in flash breath, set up. Your right hand is forward, your left hand is coming back towards your uh, Knee, your knees, your elbows bent, wrist and elbow are aligned. Breathe in deeply. And exhale, reach back. If you're in flash breath and you want to work with one leg up, anchor into your left leg, breathe in, lift your right leg up, and exhale, reach it back. So for everyone, breathe into your right hip. And exhale, send in that right leg back. Keep tucking your left elbow in if you're in flash breath. Everyone breathe into your spot. And exhale, take it to the full expression of, your, of what you can do today. One more breath, deep breath. And exhale, lower your right foot to the floor. Bend the knees and then come all the way down to the floor. And then come up to stand. Standing in four stands. So you're standing in four stands, so, so your, your knees are bent, your heels, they are about two and a half feet away from each other. Bring your hands onto your thighs for Agnisara. Turn the toes out and sit a little deeper. As you go deeper, send your thighs out towards the side. Agnisara with hand passes. So bring your hands forward, place your uh, right hand on top of the left. Press down with your feet, lift the toes. Now take a deep breath. And exhale, hands to sky. Then Agnisara, moving the belly in and back. In and out, in and out. Hands out to side, hands back to chest. Breathe in and exhale. <sighs> Moving the belly. So you're doing this on the same breath. Hands to chest and hands forward and hands back to chest. Inhale and exhale. <sighs> Agnisara. Moving the belly. Hands to sternum. Breathe in. Hands to earth, exhale. Agnisara. Left hand is over right, breathe in. Hands to sky, exhale. Now move the belly as fast as you can. Hands out to side, hands back to chest, inhale. Exhale, move the belly. Hands forward, then hands to chest. Inhale, exhale, and move in belly. Hands to chest, inhale, exhale, hands to earth, move belly. And release and stand. And just feel that for a moment. You're coming back into horse stance. 
just giving your hips a little bit more opening. This time you come back into horse stance for bird wing. You can do your bird wing with your palms facing up, hands facing together, palms facing down. Any of those options for you today. To go in which what feels best for you. Coming back into horse stance, keep sending your thighs and knees out to the side, sit bones are reaching down to floor, cut your elbows in and choose your hands position. Now take a deep breath as you inhale, draw your hands together. And as you exhale, you're opening arms up. Keep reaching your arms back, but keep tucking elbows in. And then breathe in. And then exhale, open out to side. Elbows are tucked in. Three more, inhale. And exhale, opening. Inhale. Exhale. Keep feeling as if you're pushing the floor away. Inhale. Exhale, elbows in. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And release. Stand, heel toe feet together. And stand at the front of your mat. Coming into your salutations. As you exhale, hands together by chest. Press your feet to the floor, lift the toes, spread the toes, and feel that you've really anchored down into the floor. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, lengthen through spine, telescoping roots. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in, hands to the floor. The back of the neck is relaxed and long. Lunge, inhale, step your left leg back. Bend your left knee, place your left knee to the floor. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. And exhale, hands down, step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, bend the knees, and exhale, lower down, keep elbows tucking in. Bring your hands forward about 10 inches, and then breathing as you press your hands to the floor, feel as if you're moving your ribs forward, chest moves forward, but your legs are lengthened back. And exhale, keep drawing chest and ribs forward as you're coming down. Hands under the shoulders, breathe into lower back, curl toes under, and exhale, lengthen back into downward facing dog. Lunge, breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands, right knees to the floor. You're pushing the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, hands down, step your right leg forward for forward bend. As you breathe in, lengthen through the spine, so the forehead comes towards the shins. And exhale, bellies in. Now breathe in, stand, lengthen up as you reach your arms to the sky. And exhale, hands together by chest. Chair pose, bend the knees, and as you inhale, sweeping your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, lengthen the spine, belly away from pelvis. Forward, uh, exhale, step or hop it back into plank. Lower down, keep elbows in. As you breathe, move your chest forward into cobra. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step your left foot by left hand, right foot towards the left edge of the mat, pushing the floor away as you're reaching your arms up to sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, exhale, lower down, you can bend the knees. As you breathe in, move chest and ribs forward for cobra, lengthen your legs back. Exhale, press back for downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step your right foot forward by right hand, push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. And exhale, hands down, step your right leg back for plank, reach back into heels, and as you exhale, lower down. Cobra, inhale, moving chest down, reach forward, lengthening your legs back. Exhale, press back for downward facing dog. On the breath, bend the knees, and as you breathe in, step or hop your legs between the hands. And exhale, forward bend, lengthen through the spine. Breathe into chair pose, your knees are bent, pushing the floor away, lift the chest, reach your sit bones back. And exhale, stand, hands together by chest. Press your feet to floor, breathe in, lengthen your arms up towards the sky, lift chest and back ribs. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Lunge, breathe in, step your right leg back, bend your right knee, pushing floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. 
and exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank, reach back into heels, and as you exhale, lower down, inhale, cobra, you're moving chest forward, you're lengthening your legs back, inner ankles as if they're squeezing towards each other, and exhale, press it back for downward dog, inhale, step, your right leg forward between the hands for lunge, left knees to the floor, push the floor away as you reach your arms to sky, and exhale, hands down, step your left foot forward for forward bend. As you breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. Forward bend on exhale. Now inhale, rising up, telescoping the ribs as you reach up. And exhale, hands together by chest. Chair pose, bend the knees, and as you breathe in, scoop your arms up, lift your chest, but reach your sit bones back. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, feel as if you're moving belly away from pelvis as you forward bend. And as you exhale, step or hop it back into plank. Lower down, keep elbows tucked in. Upward facing dog, inhale. You move your chest forward, you've lengthened your legs back, your belly away from pelvis, sit bones, touch the heels. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step your left foot forward by your left hand, right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you reach your arms to sky. And exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, and as you exhale, lower down. Breathe into upward dog, move chest, ribs forward, lengthen your legs back, sit bones, touch the heels. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step. Your right foot forward by right hand, left foot towards the left edge of the mat. You push the floor away as you reach your arms to sky. Exhale, hands down, step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels and exhale, lower down. Breathe into upward dog. Move chest down, ribs forward. You're lengthening your legs back. Sit bones, touch the heels. Exhale, press back for downward facing dog. Pushing the floor away in downward dog. On the breath, bend the knees. And as you breathe in, step or hop your legs between the hands. Exhale, fold forward, belly in. Breathe into chair pose, knees are bent, chest lifts, sit bones reaches back. And exhale, stand, bring hands together by chest. So working into a number of vignettes now, we're mixing this up. So take a quick drink if you need, and it will be moving straight into a continuous continuation to the end of the of the class. Starting in chair pose. So breathe in, bend the knees, sweep your arms out and up towards the sky. Lift your chest, soften the shoulders down and reach your sit bones back. Feel as if you're lifting your belly away from pelvis. Exhale, pull forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, move your chest and ribs forward. As you breathe in, that step or hop it back into plank. Lower down, keep elbows in. Breathe into cobra or upward facing dog. Move chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. Exhale, press it back for downward facing dog. Feel for pushing the floor away. Now anchor into your right leg. Breathe in, lift your left leg up and then reach it back. Feel for sending left thigh bone away from left hip. Rise up from the tiptoes of your right foot and reach your left heel towards your right glute. Look under your left armpit. Now as you breathe in, rise up and send your left thigh and knee away from you. And as you breathe out, reach it back a little bit more. On the next breath, inhale, draw your left knee towards your chest and hover. And as you breathe out, reach it back, heel to sky. On the next breath, draw your left knee towards your left armpit or elbow. And exhale, reach it back. On the next breath, draw your left knee towards your right armpit or elbow. And as you breathe out, reach it back. On the next breath, as you breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands for warrior one. Right foot is towards the right edge of the mat. Sorry, warrior two. So your right foot is towards the 
back edge of the mat, the knees, the back, the back foot is straight, the front heel is aligned with the arc of the foot, your arms are reaching out to side. From here, moving into reverse warrior, press into your right leg, breathing, stretching your right arm up. So you want these muscles to really feel for opening up. And as you breathe out, reverse it. The hand is below or above the knee. Reach your left arm over left ear. Press into both legs and breathe in. Lift belly, diaphragm, lift chest. Press your left foot to the floor as you reach your left arm over left ear. Now breathe into the intercostal muscles, the muscles down the side from your armpits all the way down to hips. And as you exhale, reach in your left arm over left ear. As you breathe, your traction in ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, curl pubic bone to navel and release your lower back. Use your left arm, breathe in to pull your body up. Right hand supports your head and neck. Extended warrior variation, placing your left forearm onto your left thigh. Actually, today we'll do extended, extended warrior uh, variation with back traction. So if you bring your right hand all the way around the back and tuck it onto your left thigh, and your left hand is onto the thigh. Press down into your left leg. And as you breathe in, tractioning the ribs away from the thigh. And as you breathe out, as you go a little deeper, keep moving your left thigh away from the hip. Press it into both legs. Breathe to lift belly, lift down from lift chest. And as you breathe out, you're tractioning. You keep sending your left thigh away from your left body's anchor to floor. One more like this, deep breath. And then from here, coming into the extended warrior variation, your right hand is, also, is already placed. Your left forearm is onto your left thigh. Press into your right leg, and as you breathe in, lengthen belly forward. Move the chest forward to chin. And as you breathe out, glide your right shoulder away from your right ear. Feel as if you're reaching your right elbow towards your right sit bone. Now breathe in and lift sternum. And as you breathe out, slide your left shoulder away from left ear. One more breath like this. As you breathe in, feel as if you're stretching the lower ribs away from sacrum. And exhale, release. Bring your hands down either side of your front foot. Pigeon is your next pose. So your right knee to the floor. Is your left foot towards your right hip. Straighten your right leg. As you breathe in, you're lifting, lengthening belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, you're folding forward over your left shin. Both feet are active. Breathe in to lengthen lower ribs away from sacrum. Pull your belly in, exhale as you fold. Reach back into the right big toe. Breathe in. And spread the breath across your back and side ribs. And as you're exhaling, you're folding forward. Now take the breath to your spot. And exhaling as you fold. Let your shoulders be soft and keep the active. Now use the breath. As if, you're, as if you're blowing up a balloon. So you're using this breath to find space into the joints. And exhale. Inhale, release. Ease your hands onto the shoulders and step back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing foot away in downward dog. From here, Anchor into your left leg, breathe in, lift your right leg up. And as you exhale, reach it back. On the next breath, as you breathe in, rise up from the tiptoes of your left foot and send your heel towards your left sit bone. Now breathe in, deep breath. And as you send your right thigh and knee away from you, reach it up, up towards the sky. On the next breath, as you breathe in, draw your right knee towards your chest and you're hovering. And as you breathe out, 
reach it back. You're sending your right leg away from you. Breathe in, draw your right knee towards your right armpit or elbow. And exhale as you lengthen it back. On the next breath, draw your right knee towards your left armpit or elbow. You're coming into a twist. And as you breathe out, reach it back, sending that leg straight up towards the sky. On the next breath, as you breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands for warrior two. Your left foot is square to the short edge of the mat. The front heels aligned with the arc of the back foot. Your arms are reaching out to side. From here, reverse warrior, press into your left leg. As you inhale, stretch your left arm is up. And exhale, reverse it. The left hand is now below or above your left knee. And your right arm is reaching over your ear. You can bring that left hand higher up onto the hip, especially if your back is tweaky. And you can slide the hand around, tucking it onto your right thigh. Feel strength in both legs. And then breathe in. Push the floor away as you lift your belly. Dive on lift chest. And as you breathe out, you're reaching your right arm over right ear. Breathe into the intercostal muscles on the left, on the right side. Push the floor away on exhale as you're sending that right arm over right ear. Keep the neck relaxed as you can, as much as you can. And breathe into sternum, lift. Raise your chest up, up to chin. And push the floor away with your left foot as you reach your right arm over right ear. Use your right arm breathing to pull your body up. Left arm supports your head and neck. You're coming into extended warrior variation with back traction. So your right hand is onto right thigh. You're tractioning your thigh away from you. And your left hand is onto the thigh, but you're lifting your ribs away. So not coming down, you're lifting away from the thigh. So press your Right foot to floor, and then breathe in, lift away, traction your side ribs, the hips away from thigh. And as you exhale, keep sending the thigh, right thigh away from you. Be pressed into both legs, and then feel this right from your perineum as you're lifting out, belly lift, lifting, side ribs lifts up. And as you breathe out, keep sending that right thigh away from you. Then you worry variation, placing your right forearm onto your thigh, left arm is already placed. And as you breathe out, relax your right shoulder away from right ear. Relax your right ear towards your right shoulder. Press your left foot to floor and then breathe in, lengthen. Feel the lengthening right from your left heel all the way through your legs, right up to heart. And as you breathe out, gliding your left shoulder down, feel as if your elbow is reaching towards your right sit bone. Now breathe in as you lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, go in a little deeper, shoulders down. Inhale, release. Bring your hands down either side of your right foot, place your left knee to the floor. Your next pose is pigeon. So you're easing your right foot towards the left edge of the mat. Extend your left leg back, reach back into your left big toe. Bear down into pelvis, breathe in, lift and lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, you're folding forward over your right shin, feet active. Now breathe in and spread, spread the ribs across your back as your ribs, the lungs are opening to armpits. And exhale as you fold. Deep breath as you lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, as you exhale, send back, reach back into your left big toe and send your sit bones back. Now breathe into your spot. And exhale as you fold. Inhale, release. So you're easing your hands under the shoulders. Push back and come onto knees. So your next pose is dolphin against the wall. You have the variations 
uh, or the options in this pose, you're uh, starting with your feet up against the wall. You can have your hands, uh, your hands will be onto your biceps, your elbows are to the floor. You can have the hands flat or the hands clasped. So the variations you have here is you're breathing in, lifting, spreading back, toes curled under. You exhale, you're reaching back into dolphin. So you can stay here for up to 10 breaths, both feet are onto the floor, or one foot onto the floor. Stay for up to five breaths on each side. And each time, you're working to take the weight away from shoulders. You're opening the shoulders. So up to five breaths on each side. If you're going further, both feet onto the wall, and you stay here for aiming for up to eight breaths. If you're going further, then work with one leg up. Again, up to about four breaths on each side. Really importantly, you're pushing the floor away, you're moving your chest towards the wall, and your sit bones touch up to the, the foot that's in the air. This helps to open your back. So that's where you're going with this foot. And the more you do that, the more you take it out of your shoulders. So choose the pose that's right for you. Oh, beautiful. You're making that look so easy. Good. So keep lengthening that leg straight up. Deep breaths. Pull your belly in and then send. If you're reaching your leg up, feel as if you're sent. It feels as if you're slightly curling pubic bone to navel so that the sit bones is reaching up to the heel of the, of the foot that's in the ear. And breathe in. Push the floor away. Use your forearms to push the floor away. Keep taking the weight away from shoulders. Beautiful, everyone. Try to relax your neck, relax your throat, and relax your jaw as much as you can. Using the breath to really feel for opening up. You don't want it. You don't want this into your back. You don't want this into your shoulders. So using the breath to help to open up as much as you can. Once you've done your count, come down and step into downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, inhale, step your left foot forward between the hands for triangle. So your right foot is square to the short edge of the mat. Your front heel aligns with the arc of the back foot and your arms are reaching out towards the side, straightening your front leg. Press into your left leg as you breathe in. You're reaching your left arm down towards the sky and you're reaching your right arm up. So it doesn't matter whether you put hands onto the floor. It's just really working, opening up. So your hands can be on the shin, on the calf or onto a block. Press into your right leg. As you breathe in, you're lengthening the ribs out and up. Reach up with the fingertips. And as you breathe out, as you send your left arm down, rolling your chest open a little bit more. Press your left foot to floor. Breathe in, glide your ribs as if you're gliding away from your left thigh, opening up the side ribs. And as you breathe out, tuck your left sit bone under, glide your right hip back. Chest open up. On the next breath, reach your right arm away from your right ear and then reach it back. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're curling pubic bone to navel. Place your right hand onto your right hip, bend your left knee. Place your left hand onto the floor about 12 inches forward, six inches towards the left. Then half moon on the breath as you breathe in, ease forward and you're now standing on your left leg. Reach your right leg back. And if you can go further, reaching your right arm up towards the sky. 
reach back. The more you reach back into that right heel, the more, you know, the lighter your body will feel. You're pressing down into that left leg. Feel as if you're lifting your ribs away from that left hip. And exhale, reach back into your left heel as you reach your right arm up to sky. Vertical splits, bring your hands down to the floor, either side of your front foot, and send your uh, right leg back. Press your left foot to the floor, and as you breathe in, glide your belly away from your left thigh. And as you exhale, push the floor away, you're bringing your forehead closer towards your ankle, and your right leg is reaching up to sky. One more breath, lengthen ribs away from waist. And exhale as you lengthen out, reaching your right leg back. Keep the hands to the floor and now step your right leg back. Uh, you're stepping back for your next pose today is pigeon. So place your right knee to the floor and ease your left foot towards the right edge of the mat. Today we will do sternum, pigeon sternum to foot. So the right foot, left foot is at a right angle. Take hold of the foot with both hands. Sit bones, presses down, breathe in, lift belly, diaphragm, lift chest. And exhale, bring your sternum towards your foot. Breathe into lower back, deep breath, lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And exhale as you fold. Deep breath, inhale. One more breath into your spine. And exhale as you fall. Inhale, release. Bring your hands under the shoulders and step back for plank. Reach back into heels. And as you exhale, lower down, keep elbows tucking in. Cobra, inhale. Moving chest and ribs forward as you lengthen legs back, sit bones, touch the heels. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog, pushing through away in downward dog. On the breath, as you inhale, step your right leg forward between the hands for triangle. Your left foot is great to the short edge of the mat. Your right heels align with the arc of the back foot, and your arms are reaching out to side. Triangle, press into your right leg. As you inhale, you're reaching your right arm down towards the floor and your left arm is up towards the ceiling. So that right hand can be on the floor, the ankle, the calf or shin, or you can have that hand onto a block. Press into your right leg, feel as if you're traction the ribs away from hip. And as you breathe out, as you reach your left arm up, feel as if you're gliding your left hip back. So feel this opening into the hips and pelvis. Then breathe to lengthen ribs away. You'll feel as if you're lengthening lower ribs away from the, your top of your right thigh. And as you exhale, rolling chest open a little bit more. Keep the neck relaxed as much as you can. Chest open up. On the next breath, lengthen your left arm away from your left ear. And as you exhale, reach it back. Feel as if you're rolling your chest open as you reach your left arm back. Half moon, place your left hand onto left hip. Bend your right knee and place your right hand onto the floor, 12 inches forward, six inches towards the side. And also place that hand onto a block. And then from here, as you breathe in, ease your body forward. Lift your left leg up and reach it back. You're reaching out with the heels. You can go further, stretching your left arm up towards the sky. Pressing down into your right leg. And as you breathe in, lift your ribs away from right hip. And as you breathe out, reach back. Feel the energy that moves through the whole of your body and feel it right from heels all the way through to the left fingertips. Breathe in and lift your belly away from your right thigh. And exhale, stretch back into that right heel, right fingertip, left, stretch back into left heel, left fingertips to sky. On the next breath, bring both hands down onto the floor by your right foot and vertical splits, you're reaching your left leg out and up towards the sky. If you can, walk your hands closer 
towards your standing foot. And then press down into your right leg as you breathe in, lengthen belly away from right thigh. And exhale as you fold. You're bringing your forehead closer towards your right shin. Some of you will be able to take hold of your ankle or the calf with one or both hands. And then stretch your left leg up as you bring your forehead towards your right shin. One more here. With ease, breathe in. Feel the lengthy belly away from right thigh. And exhale, send that left leg back. Release, hands to the floor. Step your left leg back and then place your left knee to the floor for pigeon. Easing your right foot towards the left edge of the mat, towards your, uh, not to the edge of the mat. Move it to the left edge of the mat for sternum to foot, chest to ankle. So you grab hold of the instep, arc of the foot with both hands. You breathe in and lengthen out of your right side. And as you breathe out, move in sternum towards your right foot. If you can, straighten your left leg. And then from your pelvic bowl, you're breathing in to so lift and lengthen belly away from pelvis. And exhale as you fold. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale as you fold. And inhale, release. Push back into downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in your downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, you've anchored into your right foot. So right foot presses the floor. Inhale, lift your left leg up and reach it back. Spread the toe, spread the ball of your foot. You're pushing the floor away with both arms as you lengthen back. On the next breath, rise up, tiptoes of your right foot. Bend your left knee, draw your left heel towards your right glute. Look under your left armpit. Now breathe in as you breathe in. Rise up on the tiptoes of your right foot and step your left foot forward between the hands. And then push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. From here, ostrich, you're clasping your hands behind your back. Press into both legs as you breathe in, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, you're folding forward. Forehead is coming to the floor. Reach your arms up and over your shoulders. Press into your right foot and breathe in. Traction belly away from pelvis. And exhale, taking it a little deeper. Now breathe to the back of your heart and feeling for energizing your heart with this breath. And as you exhale, as you go a little deeper, reach your arms up to feel this opening into shoulders. Then inhale, release. Bring the hands down to the floor, either side of your front foot. Easy twisting warrior. You're flattening your right hand to the floor about 12 inches from your left foot. And as you breathe in, you're sweeping your left arm up towards the sky. You might want to adjust. If, you're, if this feels awkward for you, then ease your right foot towards the right edge of the mat. And then it opens your back ribs and spine a little bit more. Reach back into your right leg. As you breathe in, glide your ribs forward. And as you exhale, as you open up, reach your right left fingertips up towards the sky. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale, release. Bring your hands to the floor and place your right knee down onto the floor. Lounge, lounge. You're bringing your right hand forward about eight to 10 inches ahead away from the shoulder. Reach your right leg back, straighten your right leg. Use your left hand, you're traction in your left thigh forward. Now breathe in and you're gliding the ribs forward away from your right hip. And as you breathe out, your right side ribs are, are like as if they're turning towards the inside of left leg. Press anchor, your left foot is anchored to floor, and then breathe this. Feel this right from your pelvic bowl as you're lengthening belly away from pelvis. 
And as you breathe out, feel as if you're arcing chest towards your left leg. Right leg is active, it's reaching back. From here, on the breath, as you inhale, reach your left arm straight up towards the sky. And as you exhale, reach it back towards your right heel. Now breathe in and lengthening your ribs away from your right hip. Press your left foot to the floor. As you reach your left arm back, roll your chest slightly open towards the sky. Now inhale, release. Bring your hands down either side of your front foot. Step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down. Keep elbows tucking in. Breathe into cobra or upward facing dog. Moving chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Feeling the pushing floor away in downward dog. Now anchor into your left foot. Breathe in, lift your right leg up. And exhale, reach it back. On the breath, rise up on the tiptoes of your left foot. Reach your right heel towards your left glute. And as you breathe out, send your right thigh away from you. On the next breath, as you breathe in, step your right leg forward between the hands. And then clasp your hands behind your back for ostrich. Press into both feet, breathe in, lift belly, dive and lift chest. And as you exhale, you're folding forward, the arms are over the shoulders. Relax your forehead down towards the floor. Now breathe in, feel as if you're gliding your ribs away from right hip. And as you exhale, as you fold, reach your arms up. Arms are reaching up towards the sky, shoulders away from your ears. Press your left foot to floor, and then breathe in, traction belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, folding a little deeper. Inhale, release. Bring your hands to the floor, either side of your right foot. Your left hand is now about 12 inches away from your right foot. Easy twisting warrior. As you breathe in, lengthen through the left side and roll your chest open towards the right as you reach your right arm up towards the sky. And exhale, glide your right sit bone back. Now see where you're feeling, feeling this. Breathe into that area. And exhale as you open it out towards the right. Now breathe in. Breathe into lower back as you're lengthening ribs away from waist. And as you exhale, as you open towards the right, glide your right sit bone back. Inhale, release. Bring your hands to the floor and place your left knee down onto the floor. From here, coming into lounge, lounge. Your left hand is coming forward about eight inches, eight to 10 inches ahead of the armpit. Right hand is traction in your thigh forward, opening in hips. Breathe back, feel as if you're anchored into your left foot and breathe in, glide your ribs away from left hip. Press your right foot to the floor as you twist towards your uh, right leg. Right foot presses down to the floor and then breathe, lengthen belly forward away from pelvis. Keep moving diaphragm, keep moving chest as if up to chin. Now push the floor away on exhale as you arc your chest as if towards your right thigh. Breathe into lower back as you're lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, opening out towards the right. On the next breath, breathe in, stretching your right arm up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, reaching your right arm back towards your left heel. Both feet active. Now breathe. Breathe into your left ribs and open the ribs as if you're opening right to armpit. And as you exhale, press your right foot to the floor as you reach your right arm back to left heel. Inhale, release. Bring your hands down either side of your front foot. Your right foot step back into downward facing dog. Feel the pushing floor away in downward dog. From here, as you breathe in, rise up to the tips of toes. Exhale, lengthen through the spine, heels to floor, and you're moving chest to thighs and knees. And then breathe in and rise up, tips of toes. 
Bend your sit bones back on exhale. You're moving your chest to thighs and knees. And if you can, reach your heels to the floor. One more. Breathe in and rising up. Very tips of toes. Exhale. Send your sit bones back. Move your chest to thighs and knees. Pull your belly in and feel how it opens up to back of thighs, back of calves, and achilles, heels to floor, and chest to thighs and knees. From here, inhale, release, bend the knees, and come all the way down to the floor. Okay, so you'll be lying down on, onto your backs now for your, this pose is half happy baby. So as you lie down onto your back, you're straightening your left leg. Your left hand is onto the left thigh by hip. Your right foot is reaching up towards the sky. Your right hand reaches up your, you then bend your right knee. And if you can, cup, cup the palm of your hands to the ball of your, of your right foot. From here, you're breathing into lower back and spreading ribs to floor. When you exhale, you press the ball of your right foot into the palm of your hand. Your belly's pulling in. And if you reach your heel up, you get more opening into lower back. Okay. So that's where you're going with this pose. If you're not quite able to take hold of the foot uh, in the way that I'm describing it, you can take hold of the side or using two fingers or use a strap uh, to, to take hold of the foot in this way. So left hand is onto left thigh to help to keep the pelvis level. Everyone breathe into lower back, feel the spreading ribs to floor. And as you breathe out, press your right, the ball of your right foot into the palm of your hand, of right hand. It's sending your left leg away from you. Reach your heel up, right heel is up, and feel how it opens up into lower back a little bit more. And then two more like this. Breathe into lower back, spreading ribs to floor. And as you exhale, as you press your lower back down, press the ball of your right foot into the palm of hands. So as if the knees are coming to armpit, but reach your heel up, you will also begin to feel this into your uh, hamstrings. One more like this, breathe in. And as you exhale, press, the ball of your foot is into the right hand, knees to armpits, heels to ceiling. And then soften the shoulders down it's as if you're pressing your right shoulder back down to the floor. So try not to let it leave the floor. And then you get a different opening. And then release. Release your right hand out towards the right side. Bring your left hand down on the outside of your right leg. Left leg is straight. Now breathe. Breathe into lower back. And as you breathe out, draw your right knee across towards your left armpit. Head is in the opposite direction. You can straighten your right leg or the knee bend. So what work with what feels right for you today. And then breathe. As you breathe, you'll feel your traction in ribs away from sacrum. And exhale, relax your right shoulder away from your right ear. If you can, you're straightening your left leg. As you breathe, feel as if you're moving your belly away from your right thigh. And as you exhale, let your body just melt into the pose. Breathe to your spot or breathe to where you are feeling this most. And exhale, allowing your body to open up, allow the breath to soothe your body. And then inhale, release. You're drawing your right knee back to center. Place your right foot to the floor. And then straight, straighten your right leg away from you. Bend your left knee, sole of the foot is onto the floor. Right hand is onto the right thigh. Lift your left leg up, reach it up. Take hold of the foot if you can. You're pressing the ball of your foot into the palm of hands or make the adjustments that's right for you. Breathe into lower back, spreading ribs to floor. 
And as you exhale, press the ball of your left foot into the palm of your hand. Keep traction in your left shoulder back down to the floor. And if you reach your heel up, you'll open up. You feel this into your hamstrings. You feel this opening into lower back. Two more like this. You're breathing into lower back, spreading ribs to floor. Slightly curl pubic bone to navel on exhale. Send your right leg away from you, but the ball of your left foot is pressing into the palm of your hand. Keep gliding your left shoulder back down to the floor. Last one like this. Breathe in. And exhale. Ball of the foot presses into hand. Keep gliding your left shoulder down. Feel as if you're closing your left armpit so it's not, elbows not veered out to the side. Keeping your arm close to, the, to your torso. Then release. Release your left arm out towards the left side. You can use your right hand on the outside of your left eye. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, you're drawing your left knee towards your right hip. The knee may or may not come down to the floor. Your head is in the opposite direction to your left knee. And if you can, you might be able to straighten your left leg. It really just go with what your body allows you to. Now notice what you feel and where you are feeling this. And then breathe a soothing breath into this area. And exhale, letting your body relax a little bit more from this. And take two more breaths, scanning your body. Notice what you feel and where you're feeling this. And exhale. One more breath. Press your arms to floor. Breathe in, bend your left knee, draw the knee back to center. And then place the sole of your foot onto the floor. From here, bring the soles of your feet together and then bring your hands onto thighs by a hip crease. So you'll be traction in your thighs away. So, so the hands are not onto the top of the thighs, they're more at the side of the thighs. Activate your feet, spread the toes, spread the balls of your feet. Now take the biggest breath that you've taken so far today. And exhale completely through the mouth. Udiana, tuck the chin to chest, suck your belly in, suck it in, suck it up. Feel your ribs as they flare to the side. Your hands are pressing your thighs away from you. Your lower back is lengthening as your sit bones reaches to heels. Keep hollowing your belly out. And then relax. And then two more like this. Breathe in deeply. Exhale completely. Chin tucks in. Suck your belly in. Flare the ribs out towards the side and send thighs away from you. Hands presses against the thighs, thighs against the hands. Keep lengthening your lower ribs away from sacrum, belly away from pelvis. Release, last one like this, breathe in deeply. Exhale. Chin tucks in, suck your belly in. Press your hands away from you. So press your thighs away from you. So hands against thighs, thighs against hands. Now feel the concave, your ribs, they open wide. And release. Let your arms relax down by your side. You can stay here with your feet just as they are or straighten the legs. You can also have the soles of your feet onto the floor. And if you want a really nice release into back, if you move to the wall and with your sit bones up against the wall and your legs reaching straight up against the wall or into splits against the wall, all of those will open your back a little bit more. Right now, find a comfortable space to lie down in Shavasana. A 
allow your body to relax as much as you can. Slide the shoulders away from your ears. Relax your skull bones. Relax your forehead. Relax your nose and relax your cheekbones. So this is a good time to open your mouth and move your jaw from side to side, helping to unlock the jaw bones, helping to release into your masseter muscles, down into the neck, scalies muscles. Relax your collarbones and this helps to open the shoulders. So your shoulders, you want to feel the shoulders coming closer towards the floor and then lengthening down away from your ears. Then don't squeeze the shoulder blades together, just let them relax so they're broadening rather than squeezing in. Relax your sternum and then try to relax your upper back a little bit more. Then relax your diaphragm and then feel the energy that moves from the center of your diaphragm all the way down into side ribs and into back and allow all of these to work in sync so that they're letting go. To relax your belly and then relax your lower back. Slightly curl pubic bone to navel and feel as if your sit bones are reaching to heels and then feel this opening into hips, into pelvis and into lower back. Relax your thighs, your hamstrings, your quadriceps. And then as you let go a little bit more, you may feel that your thighs are turning slightly outwards as if the toes are reaching closer to the floor and your heels as if they're reaching towards each other. Now relax your calves. Relax your shins, ankles, and your feet and toes. Allow all of these areas just to be as they let go. So don't force it. Even the notion of relaxing sometimes is perceived as something that you must do. Just let it happen. Let your arms relax. Let your shoulders soften down and then relax your forearms. So relax your triceps, biceps, soften elbows. Now relax your forearms, your wrists and hands. Relax your fingers. Give yourself a moment to notice how your body feels and all that work that you've done. Just acknowledge that, notice that. And then relax, relax your mind, relax your heart. Allow your body to go through its own process of rejuvenation. So allow yourself to be still. So the magic of your practice becomes harnessed in your body. And then feel this, feel what is happening to you right now. Feel where it's happening in your body. And using your mindfulness to be aware to track these changes as they are occurring in your body. The physical sensations, the emotional sensations, the energetic sensations. Notice all of these. All of these are you. So now feel the energy into your fingertips, the energies into your toes. And then move that energy through the whole of your body with your breath. You exhale, allow yourself just to let go. It's not serving you, let it go. 
And now take an enormous, joyous breath. And as you exhale, stretch, stretch in a way that delights you, that delights your body, that delights your heart and spirit. And once you've given yourself a nice little stretch, bend the knees, soles of your feet onto the floor, breathe in. And exhale, roll to your left side and bring your right hand to the floor by your chest. Breathe in. Push the floor away on exhale as you're coming up. Use your left hand to support your head and neck as you come all the way up. Coming back into a seated position. Get in up tall and bring your hands together. Thumbs by sternum. Feeling the beat of your heart. Give yourself a moment. A really important moment just for you. And stay with the sensations that are making it making themselves a way to you. Stay with this. Congratulate yourself for your practice. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. And all that is good, all that is honorable in me salutes all that is honorable and all that is good in you. As we finish with the breath, deep breath. And exhale. Namaste. Thanks, everyone.